Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maca here, play Metal Gear Solid. This is Destroy the Anti-Air Establishment's mission in Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero. I will be getting the S rank as well as the Extraction Achievement slash Trophy, which is for extracting all four prisoners in this area. Now, it should be noted that an S rank is very possible in under 10 minutes in this mission. You can probably even get one under 15 minutes while also still extracting all four of the dudes. Now, I'm going for a 20 minute approach. There's a variety of reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, I thought I would just touch on them really quick before we get into the bulk of the video. Now, my approach takes a little bit longer maybe than some of the other approaches. I have tried maybe two or three different approaches and have gotten S rank using all of them. But I decided to show you guys this video because I feel that it involves the least amount of luck. It involves very little skill in terms of how good you are with shooting and stuff. I really don't take out that many enemies at all with my pistol or close combat. Um, I try to keep that to a minimum and I just try to stick in the shadows and sneak around as much as possible with avoiding enemies completely. Now the first little emplacement, you're going to want to put a C4 on it. Don't touch that C4 until the very very end of the mission where we will blow up all three of the anti-air establishments all at the same time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, for the four prisoners that you need to extract in this mission, there will be three in the little camp where you have where you rescued Chico in the first mission. It's the same camp where there is always prisoners. There's only really one mission in this game if you really look at it, just with different objectives. But uh, in that little camp, you will find three prisoners. You're going to want to take them down to the little landing pad. And there's also one prisoner where Paz was inside of the like the prison camp all the way in the locked cage in the basement where all the boiler uh, boiler rooms are so you're gonna need to rescue all four of them I'll show you the best way in the video now what I'm doing here is I'm just slowly sneaking my way through to the uh, prison camp and I'll quickly explain my method I'm not gonna comment through the entire thing I will put text on screen where I deem it necessary Although, I don't think it's that necessary for me to talk through the entire thing. Now, I do have C4 on already one of the anti-air establishments. My second step is to save the three prisoners uh, in the concentration camp area and bring them down to the chopper landing. Step three, I'm going to go for the fourth uh, prisoner and escape with them, but while I'm escaping with them, I'm also going to steal the RPG and I'm going to use a hand grenade to take out another establishment. Now, while I'm under the bridge with the prisoner, I can actually see all three of the anti-air establishments that I need to take out. There are four on the map, but you only need to take out three, which is great. Now, the first one will be taken out by C4. The second one from under the bridge is in plain sight using the RPG. And then the third one, you can easily toss a grenade up onto the bridge and take that out. So that'll be all three, which will trigger the armored vehicle phase. Now, once the armored vehicle rolls into your sight, you want to shoot it as soon as possible. If you don't shoot it, it keeps moving towards you. And then if it's too close to you, it can shoot you, run you over, or just kill the prisoner. And then it's kind of wash from there now the reason I'm also doing this method for s rank I as I said I found it to be the easiest and least skill involved it's because uh, the prisoners will give you so much extra so many extra points the um, also the extra prisoner inside of the cell will give you extra points and the time doesn't really make a huge difference whether you do it in 10 minutes or 25 minutes in terms of points so this method lets you do as many retries as you really need as long as you keep it under 10 retries and under about 30 to 40 minutes. You should have no problem getting an S rank using this method. You can also be seen and you have to use reflex. That's all fine if you don't get those points. Like I said, um, the S rank here we're basically getting for saving the prisoners and completing the mission in under 30 minutes should get you enough points for the S rank. Now once I'm in this camp again. All three of the prisoners down the mountain. This will take, I don't know, three minutes. If you want to fast forward the video, it's up to you. And uh, yeah, hopefully that does help you guys out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the YouTube comments down below. As always, I hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure to comment and like if you did. 
maybe you can check out my channel, watch a few of my other videos, and if you enjoy them, you're free to subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Peace.
place is full of enemy combatants. Rendition from all over the world. But I couldn't believe how many groups were asking the questions. They gotta have some kind of secret agreement. And I guess I'd say there were MI6. Me and the ISI. I even heard one guy speaking Russian. Yeah. I'm making deals with the East, too. Local agencies will snatch dissidents who've defected to the West and send them back across the Iron Curtain. After us, will stop over here. confirmed. Only one remaining. You can do this. CP, this is Delta-1. God damn it, it's here. Target destroyed. That was smooth, boss. Real smooth. I'd expect nothing less. Boss, this is armored vehicle headed your way, and its cannon will be a threat to the choppers. You'll have to eliminate that, too. Shot. 
stay so steady when everything goes to hell. Come on home.